Hi guys, welcome back to Hashtag Quirky. I hope everyone is staying home and everyone is staying safe. It's actually difficult times and we really need to be careful about what we are doing and about all of the things that are happening around us. I know it's getting frustrating day after day and you know how we always say that we are very busy and we don't get time ever. So yes, finally you have time. This is the only positive aspect that I can put out there maybe that we finally have time. Invest in yourself, invest in things that you like doing, invest in people that you want to tem tem wow, that you want to spend time with and just stay home and stay safe. So this is I have actually scheduled quite a lot of videos and I will be uploading them as scheduled, of course. Wow. So yeah, this is actually about affordable makeup and beauty products now beauty i mean like affordable skincare makeup and beauty products basically and all of these products are under 500 now i love uh, buying stuff that are affordable and i also buy certain high-end stuff it's not that i don't but that are mostly avoidable afford avoidable what has happened that are mostly affordable and they serve the purpose you know so i have around 12 products here i just checked my notebook and all of them are under 500 bucks so once you know everything settles down which i am sure it will let's hope for the best you can go and buy all of these products uh they mostly all most of them are kind of on a sale in nika flipkart or amazon some are only nika products some are also in amazon and flipkart so yeah, I will uh, give in the price in the screen also and without any further ado, let's get started with the video. The first thing I have is the Body Shop uh, Shower Gel. I have another variant of it. I have used one of the variant of it before and I like finished the tub. These are amazing shower gels guys. These come for 345 bucks, but in Nika you often get them for around... 320 or even at 275 sometimes if you are lucky so these are like really really good body shower gels i have two of them right now and i'm using both so and they smell oh my god un believably good this is the moringa shower gel and i have the british rose one as well they're really, really good shower gels. They don't stretch your skin much. And yeah, so this is the first product. Second up is this one. This is the Nykaa's Wanderlust Body Butter. As you can see, I have finished the whole tub of this. This is actually a full-sized tub. This is 200ml if I'm not wrong. This comes for 550 rupees and this is 200 ml. But there's a 50 ml tub of this and uh, that comes for 249 bucks. Actually, this is very, very thick and you don't need a lot of it. Body butters, you generally don't need a lot of body, of the, uh, you know, a lot of the product to apply on your body. You just need a little bit of it and you're good to go. I have this in the Hawaiian just Jasmine variant and smell is pretty mild not very you know rough or uh, very strong i mean and you can give it a try if you're looking for affordable body butters there are some more affordable options but mostly all of them start for around uh, 450 to 500 but i thought that the smaller tub 50 ml tub for 250 rupees was like a better option Okay, so up next body products are these uh, mini perfumes from Nykaa. They are again for 249 bucks. Now Nykaa has a series of perfumes, series of, wow, has a collection of perfumes uh, by the name of Moe. Now these are Moe by Nykaa. I have four of them. I'm planning to buy the rest of the two as well because, uh, man, I love the smell. I have Raisin d'Etre, Martin, Jean de Vivre and Amor. I am pretty sure this is not Jean de Vivre. This is Jean de Vivre. Um, kind of sure. I'm not. I, I'm sorry. I can't. Okay. So these are the four perfumes that I have from Nykaa. And the smell, guys. 
the perfumes are incredibly exceptional in smell if you are a fan of like variant kind of high-end perfume smells i think you should go for this i haven't ever used a high-end perfume true but these are perfumes and the smells that i have never ever experienced before so maybe you should try them out for 249 bucks okay i'll show you the size of the product once this is it um, comparing to my hand you can see it's almost the size of my wrist okay so this is 16 ml but you know two sprays does the work i'm not going to waste a spray um i love the smell of all the four that i have i'm going to buy the rest of the two as well please give it a try i'm pretty sure you won't get um you know disappointed by it so coming to face product i have two products here the first one is the Harb Day Cleansing Foam Aloe from the face shop. It's a huge tub. Okay, I cannot find the quantity of this, but this is a really, really huge. See, pretty much huge. Um, it's a very good face wash. Honestly, this is one of my morning face washes. Or if I come, you know, I went out for a little bit of time, and I know there's not a lot of dust on my face or you know dirt on my face. I would use this. It's a foaming uh, face wash meaning that the face wash comes out in a very uh, gel foam like texture and this is the aloe variant they have five six variants in it it's a really really good these come for 345 bucks if i'm not wrong and give it a try guys i'm pretty sure you won't again get disappointed okay next up i am actually a huge fan of face mists now these are the plum face mists and i just so 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 wish they come up with more variants in it this is the green tea and the grapeseed and sea buckthorn variants like both of them they come for 360 rupees and i think for around i don't know how much of product so for around 100 ml of product and the they actually claim that they work as makeup fixers as well and if you don't want your makeup to last like um, around you know seven eight hours then this would be this kind of makes your makeup last for around two three hours which is actually good and it's very very hydrating both of these two they're very hydrating i love using it on top of makeup under makeup you know these are my go-to face mists okay so coming to makeup the first product i have is the ny bay liquid eyeliner this is how the eyeliner looks like now there's a thing about it okay i love the tip of it i will try to show you without doing a mess up over here yeah this is the tip it's very thin and precise you can draw a very good liner with it um the only this comes for 150 rupees okay so it's pretty cheap the only minus point or the only con of this product is that you know after two to two and a half hours it kind of peels away okay which is a bad point i think but um i generally don't use liquid eyeliners that much and if you are trying to you know get started with liquid eyeliners then i think you should really give it a try it'll be good okay so next up is a product that i have been using since i was probably in class 11 uh, one of my most favorite um dds recommended this to me and i started using it because in class 11 let me tell you your girl didn't know how to do makeup I even honestly did not use a face wash on a regular basis. Yeah. People who want to gross out you people can. So that's a point. And I was not really using a lot of face washes or a lot of makeup or a lot of different other kind of stuff back then. I didn't know what to do. So every time I would go out, the only thing that I would put on my face is this one, which is the Lakme 925 CC cream. I think this came out back when I was in class 11 or 12, if I'm not wrong. Okay, but I'm pretty sure I have been using this for a long, long, long time. Um, they have a new packaging now. They have two new packaging now. One is like where there's this small black beads inside the white creme. I don't know why they did that. And another one is um, the aloe CC cream. But I love this. This is actually better for me than the Pons one because um, the Pons one doesn't have shade ranges this one has and I have this shade bronze it gives you a slight bit of tint but almost 
makes you look very even toned honestly and uh, discoloration it helps with the discoloration of your face and i actually don't use it anymore all over my face i just use it under my eye like uh, darks under my eyes right and i'm good to go this comes for 345 bucks for the you know bigger size bigger packaging this is probably again 30 grams you probably get a 15 or 17 gram packaging which comes a little cheaper you can try that as well there are three shade ranges in this now these are essence mascaras i know maybelline and uh, you know with all these new mascaras there are a lot of different options in the market and we kind of get overwhelmed at times honestly speaking and maybelline l'oreal or you know all of the brands which are drugstore brands for sure but the mascaras they take out sometimes are kind of costly let's say uh almost all the mascaras maybelline brings out are th above 300 bucks if i'm not wrong um there are some also let's say for 250 or around that but these three mascaras they have essence has a lot of mascaras these are essence mascaras i'm talking about i remember this one being around 140 bucks and these two bring uh, being for around 230 or 200 bucks okay so i have the no this is a little costly the lash princess one this costs for around 300 or something because this is the best mascara i have tried out till date uh, then there is the essence get big lashes volume boost which is for around 230 bucks if i'm not wrong and then the flexible brush high definition maximum definition mascara for 140 bucks i love all of these if you guys want to try out affordable mascaras i would really suggest try starting out with essence and then move on to maybelline or others okay so next up is one of my most favorite concealers of all time i know concealer is something that everybody out there is still not using but if you okay ever want to have a concealer for like an affordable price and you want to start out trying it i would really recommend the the wear while photo focus concealer this the mrp is actually 400 bucks but trust me you get it at around 250 to 60 most of the times in a hawk it's always on sale in nykaa amazon too um i am in the shade medium tawny and oh i love this mascara this is probably my you know it's my top favorite with uh, the maybelline eraser concealer it's bomb and i love these concealers more than the elegant one although the price range is kind of similar maybe because you get this often uh, at a cheaper rate which is yeah a point and if you want to try out um, concealers for the this is very lightweight and very easily blendable very creamy in texture mm, yes this is a good try when i have been going out recently up recently i've grown a very very close liking towards blushes and the one that i currently almost regularly used to use before the quarantine day started was this one this is the maybelline color show blush in the shade fresh coral it's a very pretty shade on a uh, flattering shade on indian skin tones now they have i think five or four shades in this these are for 325 bucks and they're actually pigmented but you know they won't drive you crazy oh it doesn't show that much wow but i have a slight hint of color on my hands now and i like it that way i don't like very harsh products anymore on my skin it's an affordable good blush to start with if you are like into uh getting into blushes so the second last product is this one this is a metallic eye shadow everyone recently has been putting these out as options in their affordable uh, hauls this is the swiss beauty metallic eye shadow i i have the shade 05 rose gold retro i'll get all the shades in this because i love this product where in while has a few ones as well i think if i'm not wrong this is for 200 bucks there are four or five colors in this it's pigmented as hell see that it's very very pigmented and if you want to like just have a little bit of sparkle on your eyes these are your go to products i i love this thing 
Okay, so last but not the least are my favorite products. And these are the Nykaa mini lipsticks. Now, it often happens that we, like with me, I rarely ever finish a lipstick, guys. Rarely ever. So, I, I would prefer it if like every brand comes up with mini lipsticks, honestly. Every brand and every version has a mini lipstick. I would love that. I'll show you the product quantity once. This is how much it comes with. I have used a lot of it actually. But it's not a lot, let me say. But I think it's enough for it to like finish the product, which is a good point to me. For the liquid lipsticks, when you take it out, the packaging is super cute and you will be like, why did I pay $250 for this much? It's really, really small for the liquid lipstick. True. But I think it's a little beneficial if you go and buy the full size of the liquid lipstick. But honestly, to me, I have quite a got, like, lot of liquid lipsticks and I didn't want to buy a full size product again. So I tried the you know smaller sized ones. And yeah, I like them. And for me, or for those who are not that much into wearing a lot of lipsticks or trying out colors, it's okay if you get the smaller versions. With all that, I finished today's video. I know it's a long one. It's a kind of chatty video, kind of also. Kind of a chatty video, kind of also. But you know what? Let's not try to cut it short down. Because all we are doing back home maybe is sitting and watching videos and, you know, Netflixing and all of that. Uh, let me know if you want a video on uh, shows that you can watch when you're sitting home that you who people who have like started new with Netflix and all of that. I'm ready to make a video of that sort right now. I'll incorporate web series and shows from Netflix. I don't have a Ma Amazon Prime, so sorry, can't do that yet. But I will incorporate all of it if you really want a video on that. Let me know, please. And I'll see you in my next video. Till then, please stay home. Please listen to the abide by the rules. And yeah, I'll see you. Till then, take care. Bye.